the video today, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your process settings in Advisor. If you look at your process settings, the mold and melt temperature is based on the material properties. The velocity pressure switchover and the injection time are both based on minimizing pressure. If we look at the packing profile, this is automatically set to have 80% end of fill pressure for 10 seconds. This can be optimized after you run an analysis. The molding window analysis helps determine optimum processing conditions based on full range of mold and melt temperature, pressure limit, and temperature drop through the part. If we look at the molding window result, we can take a look at the melt temperature, or we can change the parameter to be on the mold temperature. This is what I prefer because it allows you to change the mold temperature to either be hotter or colder, and you can see how that affects how broad your processing window is. You want to stay within the preferred area, but ideally you would be in the middle so that you have the widest processing window. If we click Use Conditions, it creates a new study and automatically populates this with the new process settings. We can see that it increased the mold temperature 20 degrees. It increased the melt temperature 5 degrees. I'm going to change the velocity pressure switchover from automatic to by percent volume of 99%. This also gave us an injection time of 2.23 seconds. I ran both of these as an analysis, so let's compare them side by side and see what kind of information we can obtain from using the default process settings versus the optimized process settings that we changed. Right off the bat, we can look at the fill time. So for the default process settings, it's around 3.4 seconds, and for the optimized, it's 2.5 seconds. This is because the material and mold is hotter, so the material is able to flow easier. If we look at the quality prediction, it's a little bit higher on the optimized process settings than on the default. The injection pressure for the optimized setting is lower because of the increased melt temperature and mold temperature. The optimized process settings had a smaller change in temperature across the part. It was an 11 degrees Celsius difference compared to 30 degrees with the automatic settings. But the only downside is that because of the increased temperature, the time to reach ejection temperature is about 30 seconds longer for the optimized conditions. Next, if we look at the frozen layer fraction at end of fill, we can see that the default process settings part might have trouble filling because the material temperature is so low that those thin ribs are difficult to fill and pack. If you don't know where to start when setting your processing conditions, use the molding window analysis.